it look like I'm not wearing a shirt right now? I promise, I am definitely wearing a shirt. This video is going to be a little ironic because I wanted to do a full springtime video. I wanted to talk about some spring book recommendations that I have. I think they're perfect for springtime. I also have some baking to do because Easter is this Sunday and I'm going to do a very cute Eastery dessert and it is raining outside. It is so dark, so dreary and I decided to do this video anyway because I just want to be in the springtimey mood. I'll just do some springtimey things and talk about springy books. Just because we're getting some spring showers doesn't mean we have to have a dull day. So we're gonna liven up this house with some things that remind us of springtime. books here that I think are the perfect spring reads. I am very excited to share them with you. I just love reading in the springtime, whether it's outside, inside, by the pool. I just there's so much more opportunity for me to find a very cute reading spot now that the sun is out and the cold weather is gone because I am I'm a warm girly. I do not like cold weather. If you're looking for a book to read this spring, I got you. All of these books are romance or have romance in it and I would say they're relatively happy books. I'm not someone that likes to read barely emotional books during this time of year just because springtime is my favorite time of year and I just want to be happy. I want books that make me feel happy. First book I wanted to talk about is Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. If you can't tell, this book has to do with flowers because our main girl Annie, she owns a flower shop in this small town. This is technically book two in a series, but they're both standalone books, so you don't have to have read when in Rome, but you can. Annie is the younger sister of the brother from book one. Will, this guy, he is the bodyguard for somebody in this town, and so they basically form this fake dating relationship because he's trying to learn how to date and he's like this bad boy player kind of guy so he's like all right i'm gonna sweet this i'm gonna help this goody little two shoes girl next door person how to date so that yeah what could go wrong here right it's very cute very rom-commy very hallmarky but it's 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 a light read it's very nice how am I not going to recommend a Jane Austen to you? And I wanted to think which Jane Austen would emulate spring perfectly. Honestly, it could be between Pride and Prejudice and Emma, but I chose Emma because I just watched the movie. If you don't know what Emma is about, she's essentially a girl, a young woman, who has had basically no problems her entire life. She lives with her father in this home and she loves matchmaking. She has friends, her governess just got married and she's all alone. Now it's just her and her dad and their family friend, Mr. Knightley, and she's bored. So what is she to do but to help match make for her friends? And she does that and things happen. It is very cute and I love the ending. I love Mr. Knightley and I think this is a very great read during springtime. It is probably the biggest book Jane Austen's written, but it's very humorous. Emma, I find to be a very funny character. So in that regard, I find this to be one of the most lighthearted books that Jane Austen's written, and I think it's worth reading. This next book I read recently, and I think it's actually a really perfect spring read, not just because the cover is pink, but because, again, we have wit, sarcasm, it's lighthearted, it's funny, and it's very unique in the sense that the way these two people meet is different from any book I've ever read. And I find that to be very refreshing, which is perfect for spring. And that is The Flat Chair by Beth O'Leary. These two people are flatmates. They live in London and they've never met, but they live together and they communicate through post-it notes. That's all I'm gonna say. But I want you to trust me here when I say this book is beautiful and it is worth picking up. If you have never read anything by Beth O'Leary, but you want to try 
this one is really really good i think this book is gonna be great like just sipping a cold lemonade or an iced tea iced coffee having a lemon tart or something just enjoy the atmosphere you're in when you're reading this book because it's so lighthearted and witty and funny you just want to set the mood when you're reading this next recommendation that i have is a cozy mystery while i wouldn't normally recommend a mystery or thriller or anything like that for springtime again because i want it to be lighthearted and happy this is a cozy mystery and it's also set in the 20s the 1920s so it's so cute and nostalgic even though i wasn't born then and i love the characters because while one is very i don't think she's very socially aware of who she is and how she acts the other person is very playboy -y, um, almost like a rake in a way and it is their banter back and forth is absolutely adorable it is a botanist guide to flowers and fatality by kate kavari i think i gave book one in this little series a five star read and this was a close second place we will have to read book one to read this book but it's so worth it both books have a lot of plant and flower imagery but book two more specifically has to do with flowers because of the mystery that's going on they have to do with flowers and different species of flowers so if you like plants if you like greenery if you like their 20s if you like rivals to lovers like academic rivals i think you will absolutely eat this up and i never see anyone talk about this book and i just feel like it deserves more hype so if i can encourage you to read it here we are this book reminded me of bridgerton and i absolutely loved the first book this author wrote it's not in a series it was her debut novel and i've made an entire video on it i will put it here in case you're interested a lady's guide to scandal recently this is an art copy that i have this woman gets married a long time ago 10 years later she becomes widowed she's left rich titled and for the first time in her life she has freedom to do whatever she wants so she decides to go with her cousin to the bath and just kind of be in mourning just kind of live her life and be happy for once because she wasn't in a happy marriage before we do have a love triangle situation going on here and we have a really sweet relationship between the two cousins they have a really nice close bond but i found it pretty interesting i don't know how historically accurate it is it is just a good time it's a good read and it really makes me want to go to bath in england i feel like this is a very very cute regency romance if you don't like regency romances because you don't like the whole damsel in distress kind of vibe this book will not give you that because she does not have the weight on her of having to find a husband because she's a widow does that make sense and then last but not least i wanted to mention this book because book one comes out at the end of april and i just cannot wait i'm wearing my sweater i'm obsessed with this book I talk about it all the time but powerless by lauren roberts i think is a great read for springtime i don't think it's necessarily a happy read i think the romance in itself is quite heartbreaking <sighs> nevertheless i cannot not recommend this for every season so it's just gonna have a shameless plug hayden is a thief she's a survivor she lives on the streets and she also has no powers in a world that has deemed people with powers to be in like the elite society and if you do not have powers you're like executed so she's been hiding in plain sight her whole life hi is the king's enforcer so he's like torture guy the executioner guy he has to do all of the not fun things there's a competition that takes place in this book and they are both thrown into this arena where they have to compete and things get twisty things get crazy <laughs> i love this book and i think everyone else will too so please heed my advice read this book if you haven't already or do a reread if you have read it maybe if you have not read it yet go ahead and have a lemon tart with it you'll find out why in the book and now that i'm thinking about lemon tarts i'm feeling like i have a sweet tooth coming so we are going to go ahead and make some easter bunny dirt cake it's a cold treat that you can serve frozen or refrigerated it is so easy to make there is no baking at all involved you just put everything together in the pan and you let it freeze or refrigerate for however long you want and then you serve it chilled so if you're looking for a last minute dessert to make for any occasion i think this is perfect and then you can add whatever toppings you want on top because it's easter i'm going to be putting little bunnies and stuff on top of it let's go ahead and make this dessert together
This is my completed look for Easter. I got this dress from Amazon in case you were wondering. I will link it in the description box. But the dirt cake is ready. We are dressed and ready to go to family day for Easter. I hope you enjoyed this spring book rack video. If you want the recipe to the dirt cake, I will also link that below. But that is going to be it for this video. So if you're interested in more book recommendations, I will link them right here. And until next time, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!